watching Iron Claw, I went in with this blank page. Mm. I didn't really have anything in my mind mm. or what to expect. Mm. I was thinking it was this, like we said before, this underdog story yeah. of, you know, maybe the rise to fame, this family, and, you know, you know how it usually goes. Mm. But then I started watching it. I saw these brothers and everything. I was like, okay, you know, this is, this is fun. Yeah. You know? These are the guys that set the stage for the dudes you were just mentioning, right? Yeah. Like, mm. And I was like, going on and on. I was like, okay, this is not what I was expecting. The mm. story was not like I was, I wasn't, ex- it wasn't, how do I explain it? I wasn't you expecting You thought it anything. was going to be an underdog story. Yeah, but right then, to the top. what I, what I was, what I saw in the end was this very tragic story, a very sad story. Man. You know. It was emotionally daunting. Dude, dude I almost cried. <laughs> <laughs> like big time. Bro, when he started first, when he met, um, um, Lily James and he told mm. her and he was like, you know, I think my family is caught and everything. I think I kind of put a pin on that. Mm. I was like, this means something. Yeah. You know, be because driver. she said it and then she was like, what does that mean? Mm. You know? And then he was like, ah, never mind. I was like, nah, that's very important. Mm. And then as the time, like, I kept watching it because it's a very long movie. So yeah. I kept watching it. I, I realized that, you know, that was what it is. Like, he didn't want to name his child the yeah. last name of the kid because he was so scared of mm. of like, the curse they didn't even want family. to stay in the same vicinity with his wife and his kid because he told to rub off on them that's you trauma know? that's sad. trauma man it's sad he lost like all of them mm-hmm. and now there's there's something you need to know there was a was it a fifth brother a sixth, there was another brother, that, a was, sixth brother yeah. that was not mentioned in mm. the movie and then I I, I I did some research and they're like they did not want to add him the movie because that would have been that made it longer than it should yeah. be it would have been more context more information mm. and more you know mm. so they had to limit it to that and even that same brother also died yeah suicide. suicide i'm just like uh chris von elric that was I'm named like, he was smaller than the rest of them less talented but he loved the sports apparently one dude the real life story is even more tragic than that's the what movie. i saw like immediately i finished like i watched it with my housemates i immediately finished watching it mm. we were both on our phones doing yeah. more research that's how Trying to figure it out, yeah. you know that's how the movie immediately went. so watched, watching it we're like ah mm. like immediately we finished it like we're on on google trying to find out what that's when that's when we found out that okay there were, there were more of them mm. like it's much more tragic than mm. what you've even seen in the movie that, that's yeah. Like, how much can a human take? Honestly, they didn't even show us, like, the dad's death. He had six children, and those six kids died before him. Right. I think no, only Kevin that survived. Oh, yeah, only Kevin Still that survived. Alive. And I he almost he was... killed himself, you oh. know? He, I, I don't know if this might ever be safe to see on YouTube, but dude, dude went out to buy a gun, and he was in his car, and he was about to let off, and then he stared at the barrel and was like, I need to change my life, man. <laughs> and he went back into the shop and returned it, and he broke down in front of the, you know, the dude selling. And mm. now he has a big ass family, what thirteen grandchildren. Yeah, I heard like kids. you know, like it's crazy how, how a decision can just change your entire mm. life. And yeah, you know, it's the decision he made eventually that was like, yeah, like he said, I need to change my life. And mm-hmm. He still was able to do what he wanted to do when he met Lily James. I want to have a big family i want to have a big house oh my and god everybody to come everybody to come he mm. was able to that even though he wasn't able to get his you know his brothers. And you could watch you could watch him how he was with his brothers mm. he, he 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 was supposed to be the top man because mm. you know he was the eldest though they had one that died before, before him but he he where he should feel all that jealousy and envy you could see it's in him. He's tired of this shit. Yeah. He's like, you know, like, I'm supposed to, but, you know, well, he, he respects his father so much that what his father says stands and mm. all of that, you know. But he's going through his own stuff. And yeah. Everybody just expects him to be okay with and it. And this is which all is, he knows. Exactly. And which mm. he's okay with. He's like, okay, I'm okay with it. And just thought, pff, it's sad. Yeah. Honestly, I just, I don't know. <laughs> it was. And, 
I know it was a long movie, but I did not notice the time go by. Like yeah. it just movie started and it ended. You know, it was just that good. Like A twenty four keeps giving us this deep stories. You know, I saw a tweet the other day. Warner Brothers was like they're the only they're the only uh, uh, studio out there, right? That does story based movies. And someone was like, "Hello, A twenty four wants a call." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "How can you say that when A twenty four exists, mm. man? They just keep." delivering this deep heartfelt you know it's original i think that's the word original stories i think it's whoever is there and mm. selecting these things you know like oh they obviously would have a lot of submissions and stuff yeah and all of that then there's someone who's gonna sift through those things and be like this is worth it this is not it this yeah. is it. you know whoever is doing those things and then there is now a whole team of people that are going to now work on that movie and yeah. then produce and direct Man. the person is ultra picky they know they know who they are they know their style they're not just any anything bring it over it's it's crazy i can't like after seeing this now i can't wait for civil war which is um scott's guy I, I hope that's gonna be so good man. i i hope so because this is what so. his directorial so debut i it's hope it's gonna, gonna be so be good. good like it's yeah. gonna be so good like hopefully it's crazy man the, the movie was great. The course of the Von Elric just... It's it's really sad. And, okay, in real life, the curse was actually generated from all the brothers dying after one after the other. But in the movie, they use it as a device to drive the entire story. You know, they say his, his grandma law had the little tragedy and whatnot, you know. Man, the leg shocked me. Right. <laughs> I I knew I knew it was gonna I thought it was gonna die mm. at first. Yeah. That was what I thought at mm. first. But then that wasn't what happened. Mm. You know, just showing with the I was like, okay, thank God he didn't die. Carry. You know. Mm. And then and they just showed the leg. I was like, fuck. Yeah. My mouth was like this, like for like a few Man, seconds. You 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 just had alcohol and you're gonna drive a bike. Mm. Like it just goes to show that he wanted to do the Olympics and that was taken away, uh, he, as his father put it, it was taken away from you. It's just situation, shit happens. Mm. That's just life. It's life. And then you go ahead and you actually win the belts that his dad was raving on, trying to live vicariously through his children, you know, giving them a burden to bear. That's the actual cost. Yeah. That's the cost of the Von Eric family. The burden that their father has bestowed on them. Seeing his leg, I was like, what's going on? Why? You just won the belt, celebrate and go to bed. Why hop on your bike? It's not enough. <laughs> That's why I told myself. It's like, not I don't for understand. Him. Why? Why, right? Why do you take drugs, hop on your bike, and just go on? See, Kevin was there. We, 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 we are talking based on how we see life. Mm. It's different for other people that you yeah, understand. Yeah, from like, that perspective, yeah. You know? But, but still, life is it's, it's really about choices and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. I feel he really wanted, he wanted something to happen. I don't know if he wanted because it was, in my opinion, it's like a cry for help and attempts to just end stuff because mm. you had alcohol and you're in a bike, mm. riding a bike. A bike is not safe on its own already. And he and saw then, cars yeah. coming in. He was driving center lane, like in the middle of the road, the divider of the lanes. Yeah. I was like, he's doing this intentionally, man. Yeah, it was just unintentional. Like, he did it intentionally. So. My jaw was hung when I saw his feet. I just didn't see any of the tragedies coming man it, it was just i like, each it was just like each passing was just different from each other they should have let the, the last one just do music like you just do music it was dude, good man. Sounded good nah like this movie just maybe asked that question again like when is it enough enough and what is it all for uh, i don't know i think their father was like a major part of the whole downfall he just, was like he was, man. They were just listening to him and they were living and dying by their father. <laughs> At first, man, I thought this was a good movie, bro. At first, I saw them doing their thing. you the like, yeah, they're going, uh -huh. you know? But then again, man, you know that whole part of the movie where everything was just going well. He got married, mm. got a wife, got mm. a house, they're going, they're wrestling, they're touring and all of that. And Next then after thing. that, Japan. <laughs> Downhill from there, man. Freaking downhill from there. In, apparently, in real life, Kerry 
was telling people that he knew he knows he's going to take his life one day that he can hear his brothers calling him and he wants to go be with them i'm like that's deep <laughs> dude was just going through a lot through a lot mentally and nobody will. did you did you hear the mom she's like that's and, between you boys and that thing mm. i don't know why she wasn't involved involved in these kids and in my opinion that was that was that was terrible yeah like there are some things that your like your husband would do to your kids and you'd be like enough is enough mm. like she never one day complained she never never one day like you don't like these are children never she, she just, just let them just le- letting them and hiding behind I christ understand. i, I just don't understand god helps those who help yeah, themselves so. you don't you don't something bad like in the beginning they showed us that small scene showed us the type of human being she was when her husband bought the car and then she was arguing with him and next thing she just got some broke into prayer like uh, in the middle of the, middle of the conversation i was like nah this is not going to end well Sometimes the father too behind religion too much too much honestly that line that is between you boys they 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 gave them a burden and they wanted them to deal with it by themselves. I don't get it. This these kids, it's obvious that they are so reliant on their parents and you can't help them out. What's going on? It was it was terrible, man. It was terrible. Honestly. But yeah, anyways, it was a good movie regardless. It's just something it you should see see and you would you would like enjoy yeah. it. It's just that it's very tragic. So I expect that. Nobody told me, so I didn't expect that so honestly that last scene of the movie man it just neatly tied up the movie in the nice little bow when he was like i used to be a brother god man that was the moment i was like my heart is broken <laughs> <laughs> i actually wanted to shed tears man, but gangster gangster ah. yo man it, it hits me like right here and his songs were like we could be your brothers and it was just beautiful man yeah Freaking lovely movie. I loved it. Uh, Sean Durkin, who I've not heard of before. Uh, can we look up what movies he's done? Canadian American film writer. No, what was the first A24 movie you saw? First A24 movie I saw was Talk to Me. Oh, I think the first one I saw was Lady Bird. And this was a long time ago. What, what was 2019? 20. Lady Bird was 2017. 2017. Okay, so it's the year it came out mm. then. And I think I was the first Greta girl was Gary movie I saw as well has a director and mm. uh, yeah it's I was just like I think after that I started seeing more A twenty four movies and then I was like I'm just like this guy is happy their own their own style and so, mm. I yeah, that was the first one I saw. that was the first one I saw a recent A twenty four movie The Green Room is that on this list it should be was it twenty twenty these are twenty twenty tens. 2010. Even Ex Machina was a. Uh, was a oh, that's actually film. the first Ex Machina movie I've seen. Yeah. The Green Room was it's horror. It was really good. I feel to we spoke about Chris Stockman recently. Um, he has this thing where pay for movies that you enjoy and go see them in the cinema and buy the physical media. Mm-hmm. I feel at this point is A twenty four might be the only type of movies I will go see in the <laughs> cinema. You know, I actually wanted to go see Iron Claw in the cinema, but. Just we're talking about it today, so I didn't have the time to yeah. go see it. But I feel any strange film movie that comes out now, man, we should go check it out on the big screen. Yeah, so Sean Dawkins written and directed by him, which is a really big job to be writer and director at the same time. We had Harris Dickinson, Zach Efron, Stanley, is it Stanley Wilson? Harry Dickinson, Zach Efron, Jeremy Allen White. Love great actors on this movie and pretty epic stuff. Do we recommend? Definitely. Definitely. One hundred percent recommend. In my opinion, it's oh very very high on Rotten Tomatoes. Mm-hmm. I give it an eight point five. Um, cinematography, bam. Story, bam. Now it's the acting that's. It was stellar. I think this is Zach Efron's best, best movie he's ever yeah. done. You know, best he movie. Was so different in the movie. He was. We didn't even know. Like, it was so different. In dude has been sipping too much Pellegrino. Like, <laughs> his face is jacked. His abs are stacked. Everything. I give it an eight point five. It was a solid drama, in my opinion. 